Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, I again, I welcome you on the 21 Marathon Madhya Medica Series. Lecture 21. And this is the, I hope, of this series, this was the last lecture, but it is not the last lecture of the process. So, we start with the process of learning a wonderful remedy that we call as sulphur. So, when you came to the history of homeopathy and when you came to the history of uh, chronic disease, what Master Hanuman has mentioned in Organon of Medicines. See, we have to remember certain remedy what Master has encountered in their life. The first remedy he encountered is Cullens Materia Medica, Peruvian bark, a China, China office analysis. And the experience or bitterness of China represents that this is something that the origin of the thoughts in the mind of our master, Dr. Samuel Hanuman, and it is the birth of homeopathy. And when, uh, after practicing a few years and experience, he came across to the another process called theory of miasm. And when we understand the theory of miasm, and he started that the thousand headed monster, it is nothing but a sora. And he mentions that when you have to treat something out of it, a thousand headed monster, you have to fight the thousand headed monster and you need a fight with the king, a battle and then he mentioned that the sulphur is the king of end story and that is what we are learning today as sulphur. See, the vastness of the sulphur is very much but just I am here to highlight a few important points which we encounter and what I learned from Vijayakar Sir and the team. So I will share my experience and a few of the clinical presentations of the sulphur. There are more than 29,000 rubrics in complete dynamics in sulphur and there are 1700 rubrics of uniqueness of the sulphur only. So this is what the vastness of our remedy but I am just giving you uh, what we call as a few drops out of the ocean of the knowledge of the sulphur. So this just the gist of sulphur and extroverted dispositions. So let's begin. So to begin with everything we must tribute our master Samuel Hanuman. He mentions that dare to be wise and without that we are not here. So I am here only because of the master Dr. Samuel Hanuman. Secondly, I would like to take the blessings of my guru Dr. Prafur Vijaykar sir and sir has shown us the path of uh, homeopathy with the modern science and the understanding in a deeper, uh, deeper sense and sir always says homeopathy is nothing but it's a mathematics. So uh, it's easy to practice mathematics and that is what sir has given us a uh, gist of everything, uh, calculations of everything and that calculation which I am going to present today is nothing but the sir's experience of 40 years and I have learned from sir. That is what I am sharing with you. Thirdly, I take biggest inspirations from in the field of homeopathy, my mentor, my uh, <coughs> inspiration, Dr. Jitesh Swasalya. And when I was in the frustrated state of allopathic practice, and I went to the sir and I was inspired from the result of the sir and that is the day I choose homeopathy. So sir always says, you don't choose homeopathy, homeopathy has chosen you. This is the divinity that homeopathy has given to you and you are the uh, one to lighten the path of homeopathy. So that is what uh, Dr. Jitesh Sosalya has lightened my path in the field of homeopathy and I am here in presence of you. The man behind 
every success of my life every failure of my life and every uh, struggles and the things which i have faced in my life is my mentor my guide and best friend forever dr suketu shastri and this is what i am here that he has promoted me to do that you have a ability to share the knowledge so you start sharing knowledge with all of us and you always promote me to do this is what my mentor has inspired me to do and i am here on the 25th 21st of marathon series lecture and that is what i am presenting to you thank you suketu sir for the wonderful blessings and guiding and mentoring me so before starting something that sir always quote that i do not see what mind does not know and when you know something then and then you can see everything in the world is something is happening to you so what is uh, the things which i am here to share with you is the something you know about the sulfur when the persons comes to you and when you know that sulfur is like this then and then you can understand that this is the sulfur this is the person who came to the process so sir always says i do not see what mind does not know so i am just pouring uh, some refreshments of knowledge into your mind then you can see the sulfur is coming to your clinic so starting with the sulfur everyone knows sulfur is the king of anti soil so sulfur should be considered as a force or energy it erupt out of the volcano with a force that is unbounded which can destroy when in aggressions and when it cool down it also create new landscape like a mountain or island so this is what something that you have to understand from the source of point of view that when in the state of aggressions it can burn out everything so we have the symptoms burning 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 and a coal and fire so this is what eruptions of the volcano and when it goes into the uh cool state when goes into the uh, state of coolness and it creates so when you find something creative so sulfur is always creative so this is something that a soil which is rich in sulfur has a more fertility so same the, when the fertility is more there is a reproduction there is a creation and there is something which is out outcome so this is what a uh, two phases of the sulfur from the source itself only so we have to highlight certain point that what when we think of sulfur so when you came across the hot patients the person who have aggravated from the warmth and heat and cannot tolerate heat in any forms you have the symptoms in the uh, repertory or materia medica that warmth of the bed is aggravating this is something as a sulfur and again the hot is also considered to be the heat in the body so again the volcano when erupt it is starting as a heat so heat is there but the heat is partial <coughs> partial in a particular organ or a particular parts so when you find heat particular in the palms heat particular in the soles then you can think of sulfur it can be thirsty whenever there is a heat there is a metabolism is fast so they require more water to cool down themselves so that's why most of time you find a sulfur is very thirsty remedy and sometimes it may be presented to you with the thirstless also the extrovertedness now what do you mean by extrovertedness so this is very important aspect of understanding the genetic process that sir has beautifully mentioned in the book frequent encounter and sir has given the gist of extrovertedness and introvertedness out of that the genes which is more expressive in kind of and some genes which is inexpressive in kind of when there is inexpressive in kind of it is called as introvertedness when the genes are more expressive and that is what extroverted so expressions can be expressive it can be talkative it can be mixing with the other it can be uh, vivacious it can be jolly it can be jovial it can be happy it can be cheerful it can be anything which you can find out in the extrovertedness again when you think of sulfur sulfur is a creation and and in the creations you can think that it has to be in the order every order and everything so when anything which is happening in every order then it is called as the process of maintaining 
and that maintenance is called as diligence. So this is what a sales when act, acting in the maintenance of everything. It is diligence. When sulfur goes into sulfuric state, the diligence went off. Okay, but it is the sulfur again. Sulfur is a left-sided remedy. So when you find a left-sidedness affections, most of time the sensitivity is so much so high. That is why they are affected by, and that is the reason behind that it is a side affection is moreover left-sided. But you cannot rule out when the right-sided of affections also there because sulfur is present everywhere in the every cells of the body and you ca it can affect the every economy of the human cells human genomes that is why uh, you can directly not rule out by the only left sidedness you can prescribe right sided also so entry point so we have a few of the entry point that as i mentions that we have to remember certain remedies so what master hanuman in the chronic disease the first remedy thought was the king of antisorbic is sulfur king of antipsychotic is thuja and king of antipsychotic is mercurius preparation so this is what we have to remember four remedy from the hanuman's life that one is a china from the origin of the homeopathy and rest of the three miasmatic anti miasmatic remedies sulfur thuja and mercury so the one quote is there when a famous homeopath was one asked when you are somewhere in the island and you have to carry a, a three medicines from the homeopathic chest box which remedy you will bring with you so the prompt reply of that homeopath is the first bottle i will carry with me is the sulfur the second bottle i will carry with me is a sulfur and the third bottle i will carry with me it's a sulfur so you understand that what is the importance of this remedy is so whenever you have only three remedies to be taken care of and the homeopath reply is the sulfur so this is what the vastness of the sulfur i am just giving you a small gist of the sulfur so the sphere of action the sulfur has leaves no organ in the body no tissue or no cell untouched see now we have to understand no cell is untouched that means he wanted to touch everything so we have a rubric the children comes to us in the clinic and the children started touching everything with the curiosity this is something called as untouch or touch so something that is very very curious about and touch every aspect of your life every aspect of everyone this is something again i will share one uh, point what vijaykar sir has mentioned in the religious phenomenon that the sulfur is a very religious kind of personality and he can touch every religion with the same faith what is that he, he is either a godless or he is so much so devoted to religion but he say he came with the same faith either go into temple either go into gurudwara either go into masjid or either go into church with the same faith and the same feelings so this is what they wanted to touch everything sometimes they talk about the spirituality and everything they wanted to touch the spirituality they are more inquisitive so this is what untouch no cell is untouched so everything is touched by the sulfur it has affinity for everything but here i would like to illustrate the most common constitutions came across now what are the most common presentations of the sulfur when the sulfur patient come to the clinic this is something called as extremely extroverted kind of personality so whenever you came across the person comes to you with the first time of meeting and he came to hello doctor good morning myself this 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 and this is starting the conversation without asking any question i have reached to this homeopath and i have gone to this and i have taken this medicine and this 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 i have read something in this and every time he express this feeling this is called as primary kind of ex extrovertedness so most of time the patient is like this whenever you came across the extroverted patient which is very primary started conversation without asking any question you can directly think of two remedy first is a sulfur group and the second one is a lecithis ophelia so now you have to differentiate what is the lecithis and the sulfur so sulfur is a diligent conscientious and a honest kind of personality here the difference lies only here when you came across the diligent honest and very conscientious 
whereas the ophidia is very very non diligent either consensus or non consensus because naja is a very consensus remedy in a ophidia whereas lecasis is crotalus horridus is non consensus so oh, this is what the difference i got from the first presentation that the non diligent kind of personality is ophidia and the diligent kind of personality is sulfur <laughs> again the you have to differentiate the loquacity of the sulfur and the ophidia so what is that loquacity of the uh, sulfur so sulfur has everything moistness vastness and everything but the uh, process is that there is no wittiness there is no weakness of the brain and there is no zesting in sulfur in a initial stage whereas in a lecasis it is something like a different wittiness and zesting this is what a few uh, clinical differentiations you can get into the practice when you came across the primary exploited patient so we have to understand the miasmatic uh, background of the sulfur so it started from the sora we always say it is like a sorry remedy so sir always used to say vijaykar sir that every remedy has a three phases of their life and that is something they have a soric trait the psychotic trait or a syphilitic trait so when you came across the soric trait so what was the presentation when you came across the psychotic trait it is something different than the normal one say for example we have a pulsatilla pulsatilla disposition is very mild yielding uh, weeping dispositions in the soric stage but when you came across to the psychotic pulsatilla you think of that pulsatilla is very business minded very courageous very bold so this is what the miasm shifting and the presentation also shift so same way we have to understand the sulfur so as i mentioned that it is something called as a very diligent conscientious and the honest kind of personality again i have mentioned that there is a heat of the palms and soles there is a heat is a sore excess there is a fair complexions and the redness of the orifice very important aspect of the physical presentations you have seen that the leaf is red especially in the fever the belladonna is there sulfur is there belladonna is acute of sulfur aconite is acute of sulfur naxomica is acute of sulfur so whenever a certain patient comes to you and in a chronic state you can go into stage of sulfur so the fair complexion with the redness of the orifice ever since to bath we always know the sulfur is very dirty people don't like to bath uh, and don't like to clean himself very very dirty kind of personality so this is what the soric type of sulfur and in the sora we always sir always says when the sora starts there is must be some complaining and anxiety is there so there is lot of anxiety anxiety about health anxiety about future anxiety about family anxiety about every aspect of life and he said he came to you that what i am i not well and why did it happen to me this is what the anxiety presented with to you and this is sulfur so most of time anxious and when this anxiety got exaggerated it goes into state of panicity again it is a sulfur along with that you have to understand there is a redness of the orifice a redness partially somewhere along with the heat partially somewhere for example redness around the chest upper part of the chest this is the classical indications of the sulfur so anxiety especially about the night at 1 am so whenever you think of anxiety at night about 1 am the we have the only remedy is arsenic al but again the sulfur is that okay the extreme anxiety about health yet not ready for the very important aspect that the arsenic anxiety about health and arsenic go for very meticulous systematic presentation that you go for the investigations and they go for the every aspect of understanding things that what i am suffering from whereas sulfur is so much so anxious but he said okay sir we will do it next time give me medicines i will take care of it and they no going into the investigation they are not ready for it because when they go into stage of oscillations or an investigation again their anxiety goes more and more and more they goes into panic state and that is what the sulfur present to you so this is what something a soric sulfur again in a sora there is a sensitivity so most of the time sensitivity to business cares again a diligent personality and worried about the cares and everything of the family and future and that is why the reason that they are more worried about the business anxious about the household matter anxiety about the future anxiety prefers again in a soric stage of sulfur there is a artistic man 
because they are the creative. You know, we have understand the volcano eruptions. So when in a cool state of life, it is creating something. So they are artistic by nature. But this art, when goes into psychotic state, it is not a clear own art. It is something called as a copy paste art. Somewhere he got something, he created something out of their imaginations, and then he made made something. So they boast. This is what I have made. And this is what the psychotic aspect of artistic. Again, they are very charitable in a soric state because they are more anxious about everybody. So they started caring about others, and that is why the reason they goes into state of charity. And they are very social kind of personality. There are certain people who love socials. So sulphur is one of the remedy which is social. Another remedy, bovista, social functions and rest. Very important aspect of learning. What we have learned in a repro unplug, one of the remedy bovista. Bovista loves social functions, even though very timid and not going to mingle with everyone. But they love social functions. They have to go to the marriage. They have to go to the party and everything. So this is what sulphur is like. This. They make a theories which works and are scientific. In a soric state. they are in a creations mode so they started with the scientific knowledge but when this scientific knowledge goes in a psychotic this goes in the boasting and in the syphilitic state it goes into weirdness so this is what they make the theories so they have a abundance of idea into the mind and they represent something to you and that is a very best scientific theory in a soric state it can be a scientist whenever i was in a college so we need to ask the question into viva that uh, uh, lycopodium as a leader so we have to tell the root, uh, symptoms of what is the leader quality of lycopodium soft with superior hard with inferior so same way my sir used to ask me questions that uh, sulfur as a scientist and then we have to answer the questions what was the scientist quality is so we imagine einstein and he uh, thinks that it is a messy air not taking care about everything not taking care about families and everything he is constantly working on the knowledge inquisitive over some things and that is what they are working 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 and finally they land up with nothing or they land up with something more creative so this is what the two aspects of sulfur so we have to answer this kind in our viva am i right dr ramesh yes so this is what we have faced in a soric stage of our learning when we are in the college so this is what you know soric state it is a scientific they are more inquisitive and to inquisitive everything they have more acute senses they don't support injustice because they are more like it's a cool calm state is a creative when it burst into aggressions and all can know they don't uh, uh, tolerate injustice and they fight for that so they are very courageous and again they are new but very intelligent so we new and very intelligent we have five seven remedies like bovista sulfur and china china are also new and intelligent so these are the remedy now we came to the another state that the sulfur goes into state of psychosis now how they present to us so in the psychosis their expressions become higher version so they become more expressive highly uh, expressive and extroverted so extroverted is from the psychotic myism itself only what sir has mentioned in the frequent encounter there are primary extroverted and secondary extroverted but the sulfur is the primary one see we have seen a dirty unclean untidy sulfur in a soric state when they came to the psychotic state they are very very neat and clean and you don't understand oh, this is sulfur like arsenic they are very fastidious fastidious about their appearance you know in a soric state or a syphilitic state they are dirty but in a syphilitic state indifferent to personal appearance where in a psychotic it is very very one rubric is there first it is about clothings and the only remedy is sulfur you know this is the something which we have came across so in a psychosis it is something very extremely neat clean and first it is and what kind of their choice They, they their choice is something they want to wear a white cloth cotton cloth is with the perfumes and everything so these are the classical presentations of psychosis so white cloth is and uh, uh, perfume this represent that they shows that i am something a leading kind of personality you know 
and that is what uh, they represent to us in a psychotic state. Again, when we read Sir's book, Sir has mentioned that uh, the sulphur is something like they came with the uh, kurta pajama and having a very jute box of uh, carrying a bag and in the bag everything is there. You can find from the pin, needles or uh, sui daga and everything you can find in the box. So this is what reacts in riches. But when this came to the uh, psychotic state, it is something like a very executive kind of personality. And when you examine this kind of personality and you tell that open up your shirts and I have to examine you and you find that there is a hole in the undergarments. So this is what something the outer covering is psychosis, inner is sora and that is sora is sulfur. So this is what uh, sulfur present to us. Again, the desire, luxury, always a sulfur is very, very inquisitive about the knowledge, money and everything. So there is, they want respect, they want appreciation from, and in the bargain, they want luxury and the clothing. Because clothing gives appearance, good appearance, and clothing gives appreciation. So that is what they want, luxurious clothing. You know, there are exclusive peoples like Caeferia, Platina and Atramur. They also want exclusiveness of in their appearance. Okay, Platina says I am the best, Natron says I can be best out of everything because I am lacking and I have to hide something so I have to become a best and Calcarea is very very collective kind of personality like sulfur so they wanted to show that I am a poor but I don't want to show I am a poor I have to grow in a bigger way and I have to be very exclusive so they started uh, Wearing branded clothing, luxurious clothing. So this is what the sulphur is like this. Love for the classical music, old Shastriya Sangeet, they likes, bhajan, they likes. So these are the sulphur personality. And the theory become very grand and fantastic. Their theory become very, very grand. So you imagine that, wow, what a theory he has. And, but finally you will end up with that no outcome. So this is what grand and fantastic, but no outcome. Practicality is there. Even though there is a practicality, there can be also sulfur. You cannot rule out by just uh, that no practicality. Okay, there are a different aspect of psychotic. A practical sulfur is there. When you read synoptic key, in that also it was written that it is a practical sulfur which has everything which he has accomplished. Okay, but during during this accomplishment, he has a tremendous feeling of being failure and lack of confidence, I cannot be accomplished, fear of failure or delusion, he will be failed. So these are the sulfur presentations he has. Keep everything when flatters, this is like lycopodium. Whenever sulfur comes to you, you have to just uh, appreciate them in terms of everything and he gives you a lot of history, three, two or three hours history and you enjoy the story. So this is what sulfur is. They take prides and happiness in the foolish behavior. This is what, when you, were, you flatter them, they started behaving in a very quiet and haughty manner and you internally feel very laugh that this is a foolish behavior, but we enjoy the story. So this is what the self oppression present to you. Again, they are very generous to everyone, but they want return recompensation. So that was, they are charitable, but in psychosis, they want return recompensation and they are very greedy kind of person. They are very haughty, you know, there is a asking level which sulphur has presented to us, so they are very egoistic and haughty and hypocritical. So, due to that haughtiness, they have to be appreciated and they presented you with the everything he had. They are very bastard kind of personality and they show you that he is not actually and that is what we call as hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is something that the some person is showing something that which is they are not actually. Okay. So this is what hypocritical kind of personality, hypocrisy. Desire for alcohol, again they want luxury and everything, so they want alcohols and loves for animals. Yes, there is very one rubric, very important rubric, love for animals, especially cat. And the only remedy is love. There are few remedies in complete dynamics, but I have read that it is very important remedy then the persons who have a pet which is cat and they love to be with the cat this has a sulphur you know different aspect of understanding you never understand how sulphur is like this 
impressionable desire to be magnetized so why they are, they have a desire to be magnetized they are more conscious about the knowledge they wanted to gather from everyone so they are more impressionable to everyone that they get knowledge from everyone and again he started boasting so he had not actually the knowledge but he collects from everyone and he started boasting 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 and that is what they want to be center of attraction they want to be in the center of the party and they want to share their knowledge with everybody they talk lot with everybody this is what desire to be magnetized again we have a phosphorus also there desire to be magnetized it is something different than the sulfur that the aura of this uh, phosphorus is a very charming and lovable and they wanted to hug everyone whereas sulfur having a handshake but not not that much of the hugging and taking the energy from the person their handshake is what is partial handshake with the finger only so this is a different between sulfur and phosphorus when they want magnetism and love again we have a silica silica wants the magnetism so again what is that magnetism silica wants the uh, care and love of the mother yes please welcome so this is something that magnetism we have of a different different remedies the antic collectors what is the antic collectors when you go to the sulfur house you can find everything the antic when you uh, examine the sulfur bags you can find everything like my bags in my bags i always carry everything that my all student are saying that <laughs> sir you have a technical tools you have a books you have a laptop you have a charger you have everything what you need even i have a mobile pin that i need to remove the uh, sim card in my bag so this is what a sulfur quality is something that i am presenting you as a sulfur today right now this is for understanding purpose you can me you can say me i am a sulfur maybe or may not be <laughs> uh, they can collect pens watches coins stamps machine stamp, uh, machine parts and all the rare hobbies that you can think of see uh, my childhood i am sharing with you that i used to collect the coin of 1 uh, paisa 2 paisa 5 paisa 10 paisa 20 paisa today i had that coin with me and that is what uh, the sulfur quality i had you know sulfur reaches to everyone so this is what sulfur is there in every cells untouched no no cell is untouched so he can touch everything so this is what my soric stage is like sulfur uh, they are very artistic but the creativity is not genuine and it is usually copied from somewhere and they are not self imaginative as i mentioned earlier a lot of respect for the people around them so they give respect to everyone so whenever someone give respect to everyone they are the center of attraction and what you find that sulfur can mingle with the small kid also sulfur can mingle with the adult same age personality sulfur can mingle with the college girls boys sulfur can mingle with the old person also so this is what they give lot of respect in return they want the respect also and that is what the sulfur personality is they are very very indolent and slowness very important aspect of life is in the sulfur is very indolent and slow so when you find very fast extroverted there is a different remedy we will go through the presentation but when you find indolence you can think of sulfur very money minded always everyone wants to show their themselves by psychotic means so they need to be a money minded here the theory is a grand fantastic but the still work the manipulative externally appear clean see what i have mentioned that when you examine the and the undergarment has in a hole that is what externally they want they show that there is i am a branded things but inside that the brand gone and that is what sulfur is you know this is something you have to uh, judge by okay uh, i i remember uh, dr nimesh sir has shared one of the case of sir Uh, when we are uh, studying from the nimesh sir in our uh, study uh, so he mentions uh, in a discussion that uh, one big tycoon businessman come to the sars clinic and uh, he had a lot of multiple complaints and anxiety and panic state and everything is there and he came with the com- uh, came with the clothing that he wear a shirt that is loose and having a flower print 
and the first button is open and there is a redness of the chest sir heard all the history and out of that history sir just observe that this is something i found it is strange in the businessman you can find out that this is a, something that is a executive kind of personality but it is something like a uh, different kind of so sir has given him sulfur and he will better so this is what their presentation is something like this externally they are different so boast about their belongings and toys most of time the small kid came to you that sir i have a this big car you know my car is very fast and running and they crash and that's this is what the sulfur child loved to talk with you and when sulfur child comes to your clinic they start a conversation with anybody in the clinic even though assistant he used to talk with them he meet the assistant and then i have this and there i have, I have this toys my father has been this this toy to me and this toy has this power and everything i have a helicopter and you ask that your helicopter is uh, flying or not hey it is flying and mother say nahi sir it is a wheel wala hai chalta hai wo pe and that is what the boasting is something so this is the imaginations of the sulfur boy is most of time sulfur is very covered like a lycopodium like a pulsatilla like a skelkeria like a silicia like a ammonium these are very very covered remedy again there is a imaginative faculty is very high so they goes into state of philosophy and they making philosophy and they making stories and they making yeah. everything a imaginative what they come into their mind so these are the philosophical part of sulfur <coughs> sulfuric sulfur so we have uh, ruled sora sora to psychosis and in the psychosis syphilitic so when you find a very very extroverted persons goes into state of indifferentness goes into state of introvertedness goes into state of moroseness goes into state of uh, the not talking with anybody talk talking hours and especially in the fever again this is something called as sulfur so sulfur can be introverted in the syphilitic state okay it can be hot so and the idea of that sulfur is very very strange crank and mentally and physically so this is what the physically they look what i have mentioned the case the strange look that the businessman looks like a businessman with a big tycoon but he came to like this okay so this is what the strange and cranks in acts and opinion we have the sulfur so and when there is a theory so theory becomes so weird does his idea is so weird does his art is so weird and does his dressing so sir has taken from this the dressing is so weird in the businessman how can you imagine the businessman come with the flower pattern clothes and the shorts in your clinic so this is what something when you go to the goa everybody is like this okay but it is not something that some person came to you in the clinic with the big tycoon and that is like this when he came to the goa trip so this is something that the strange behavior of the person you have to observe in the clinic so this is what sulfur is in the sublimate state they refuse to answer so whenever you find a sorry a sorry person very very extrovert they started talking without any conversations and flow of idea and thoughts is coming out but when this goes into syphilitic they refuse to answer they bite they revenge food so this is what volcanic type of sulfur so they are very indifferent morose start the things which is not admirable at all you know the things which is not admirable at all we started admiring them okay so we have a rubric rex and riches okay things which is not ad admirable at all they want to ad admire them and that is what they are in the syphilitic state aversion to educations and literally persons so the sora of sulfur is the knowledge they wanted to get knowledge from every corner of life every corner of the persons and in the syphilitic state they aversion to educations they don't want to educate themselves aversion to literally persons so this is what something that you have to find the spirit state and there are the perversion of the senses now how sulfur present to us see this is what we have understood sora psychosis and syphilitic state but now what 
sulfur present to us in our clinic. So let's have a look uh, how sulfur comes into our clinic. So we are going very quick because of already I have mentioned every aspect. So I am just reading the point. So when in the waiting room the person comes to you, the, the restlessness, running, jumping, hyperactive, touching everything in receptions, for example, wall, hanging, pen stand, paperweight, computers. This is the child. When interrupted by the mother, he sits for a while and change his gear towards dragging of the chair, messing up magazines. While playing in a group, he gives new idea about making good structure out of the block, etc. So this is what you have to understand. It is in a waiting room also, you can think the restlessness and touching everything, jumping, running and everything, this is sulfur. So whenever we find restlessness in children, we have first remedy come into mind is tuberculinum. Another remedy come into mind is tarantula. Yeah, but tarantula also touch. But we have to guard ourselves that tarantula can break everything. Whereas sulfur cannot break. Sulfur just touch everything. They wanted to examine. They wanted. They are very inquisitive about everything. So that is what they are. So that is a no cell is untouched. Same way, no things is untouched by the sulfur. And they wanted to touch everything. <coughs> when they came into the cabin, what happened? So this is what the presentation in the waiting area. When they came into cabin, they are very easy going. They are independent and charming personality. So child comes to you very independently. Okay, hello doctor. Aapka naam kya hai doctor? And they started conversing with you. This is what a sulfur personality comes to you in your cabin. So slouch in the chair, then sit on the edges of the chair. So like this, sit on the edges of the chair. So this is something that they are more anxious kind of personality. What Sir has mentioned in the Feast of No Mind, that the person when sitting on the edges of the chair, they are more of anxious, like an Arsenegal, anticipations type of personality. But here, they sit on the edges out of curiosity. They wanted to know something from the youth and tries to explore his surroundings. Very relaxed, feel at the home, touch laptop and other things time again and again. So this is what they are such impile to everything. The rubric is like this. Alert, smilingly answer every queries, extravagantly adding to its prize and new toys and add to its stock. So this is what a child is telling her, my I have these toys, what I have mentioned. This is what the, in the cabin. Always ready to pro perform in front of strangers. So whenever, why why these are the person which is very ready to perform? Because the sulfur need is appreciation. And what they started dancing, they started making artistic paintings and everything. And whenever mother father said, hey, ko dikha, kaisa karta hai? So he started doing like this. And he always start to perform everything. So I had a patient in my clinic and uh, uh, mother says that he had, uh, he used to learn yoga. So I said, uh, do yoga. So he started direct session in my clinic. It's a very young boy of around uh, six, seven years old. So this is something that you have to understand. They started directly performing everything in front of you. Know where he, uh, he is. Again, the sulfur is a sensitivity of embarrassment, but it is a syphilitic state when they goes into state of embarrassment. But in a psychotic state, they started showing everything to everyone. So this is what want the center of attendance. Want to be the center of attendance and enjoy each and every good or bad things that mother tells to doctor about him. So this is what the child is. Ah, and they enjoy everything. He approaches doctors charmingly, start informing about his new activity, his symptoms, if ever parent distract from his topic. So whenever parents is telling something different and he interrupts in between and starts like, I have these toys and I have this complaint and I have this, this, this. This is what you have to observe very minute, minute things in your clinic. Impresses others in every way, always. So I had one boy came to a clinic with and you always, uh, I, I, he came to me that Amit sir dana do, and he loves a sweet, he loves a small sweet pills. So he used to say Amit sir ke dana, dana. He never have any complaint, even though he came to my clinic and he, he, uh, he, he is the person when he came to clinic, and all the assistants are very happy and enjoy them with. So this is what the sulfur personality is, you know. They impresses everyone. Now what was the dresses? So not bother about his appearance in a soric state, always I said messy cloth is shut half and half open out. So this is what the first button or second button is open. 
uh, air flying in all directions, so not flying in all directions, but it is something messy hair. Not accustomed to personal neatness, dirty hands and nails. Okay? Never bother about the stocks and shoes. So whenever it, uh, the person came with the very executive personality and you say that remove your shoes outside and you find that there is a hole in the <laughs> socks and that is what the sulphur is. You know, this is the classical picture of sulphur. You know, so very important. From above downward, you say it is a very neat and clean, like arsenic hall. But when the uh, shoes is removed, the socks as a whole, and that is sulphur. So this is, they are not bothered about that things. So they are very carefree their, about their appearance. So that's why the rubric is indifferent to personal appearance. The aura. Now, what was the aura? So aura of the sulphur is very, very cheerful and charming. Like, Phosphorus aura is very cheerful and charming, same like lovable personality, but a different in the energy is different. Okay, what sulphur is just want to touch, so they always uh, make a handshake with touch only. Whereas phosphorus cannot uh, leave you; they always hold and just take it because they want physical touch. They want hugging. So that was the phosphorus is taking energy from someone else. This is the civilic aspect of phosphorus. So this is what the aura of the phosphorus and sulphur is same. But a difference is like this. The positiveness and the impart a strong impact of the liveliness and freshness on the other. So when sulphur goes to any place where there is a sadness, he makes the environment very lively and cheerful by enjoying everything. So this is what their aura is like this. Whenever now different kind of sulphur we have already studied. So what is the irritable sulphur? So irritable sulphur is energy and the freedom of sulphur is bounded. If the energy and freedom is bounded, it suppresses its energy and creates a negative attitude. So when there is a negative attitude, they become very irritable, peevish, screaming. If demand is not fulfilled, not responding to parents' logic. So this is a different kind of sulphur. Whenever you find contrary to the parents, we always have one remedy is tuber cleaner. But then you go to the complete dynamics, we have only four remedy out of that, and the sulfur is one of the remedy, contrary to the parents. This is the rubric, irritable kind of sulfur. So we have restlessness. So we always say it's a tuber cleaner only. Tuber cleaner is hot, sulfur is hot. Tuber cleaner is uh, extroverted, tuber cleaner is hot phosphorus. Sulfur is hotness. Both are extroverted, both are restless, both are very hyperactive. Both are enjoying everything. Both are contrary to parents. You know, this is something. Tuberculinum is most destructive kind of personality, whereas sulfur is non-destructive. This is the difference. Yeah. Very important. Very simple importance. Difference is non-destructive. Okay. Tuberculinum loves car. They have a lot of toys of car. Tuberculinum loves fastness, restness. Sulfur is very slow and indolent. This is the difference. Hope you got a difference between the two remedies. Are you understanding? That this is what a irritable kind of sulfur you have. So they criticize the parent, show dissatisfaction, aggressions, even by slapping, heating, putting hair of the mother in, and the pet. He loves cat. So he used to pull a tail of the cat and round, round and throw it. And then finally he end up with the quick repentance. Sorry, I don't have to do. Whereas tuberculinum has no repentance. So we have a rubric: anger with a quick repentance. And the sulfur is a three mark. There are seven remedy. Lysine is one of the remedy. Sulfur is the remedy. There are different different remedy, but I remember only two remedy: lysine and sulfur, which I have prescribed in my clinical practice. That is what. So this is something that you differentiate from the tuberculinum and the sulfur. Hyperactive, as I mentioned, unstoppable by the parents, teacher, total can't stay for the changing diaper due to energy. Here, okay, that tuberculum wants to be frustrated mother, so to so kick, screams, bite mother while changing the diaper. Whereas sulfur cannot do like this. Sulfur is very indolent kind of, but they don't want this thing. Okay? Inquisitive. Exploring, surrounding with underlying energy makes him hyperactive. So they want to know everything. That's why they started touching and they are hyperactive. So this is a very difference. He hates discipline. Again, tuberculinum also hates discipline. 
rules of the home, add discipline, rules of the home and the school and break them off. You know, this is a different kind of sulfur. But you have to understand, we always think it is a tuberculin and we never thought sulfur because sulfur is like this also. His activity are uncontrollable and cannot be repressed. Same like tuberculin. So energy is like this. So we have irritable sulfur. Now we have hungry sulfur. You know, different kind of sulfur variant we have today right now. So hungry sulfur is the main demand is food. Again, main demand is knowledge and food. So always hungry, hungry, hungry. Hunger cannot tolerate. Hunger at 11 a.m. There is a confusion, dullness, hormone. We have a rubric. You know? So these are the sulphur, single remedy rubric. Confusion, dullness, four noon, before noon. Why? Because when there is a hypoglycemic state of the mind, the sulphur is the remedy. When the sulphur is in a hypoglycemic state of the mind before four noon, this is the best remedy to be indicated in the diabetes. I have a lot of cases responded with the diabetes very well with the sulphur higher potency. So you have to understand sulphur. And again, when you go to the allopathic side of uh, uh, diabetic treatment, so you have find out that sulfonylureal compound of the all OH, oral hypoglycemic agent, and it sulfur contains only. sulfur only. That is the reason that sulfur works best in the diabetic cases. That is what my clinical experience, it's a little, little experience of my clinical, many cases has responded with the sulfur. Sulfur and calcarea sulfur. These are the two remedies which I frequently prescribe in the diabetic cases and that responded well and the SBLC go down because of the sulfur component and because of the I correlated with the OHA that OHA contains <coughs> sulfur and that is the reason that we have came across. So they are so hungry, <coughs> lower blood sugar level makes them very irritable, wants lot of candies, food. So there is a depletion of the glucose, so they want sweets and always candy. So they love candy, sweets and everything. And if demand is not met immediately, he cried intensely in the louder, louder voice, red face. Don't let other do that. Work after getting food quickly, become bounce to original charming and lovable state. So simple thing. Mother asked to tell you something. Sir, isko bhook lagti na to itna dimag kha jata hai ki pareshan kar deta hai. खाना दे दिया बस बात खत्म खाने के बाद इतना खुश हो जाता है कि मानो कि पांच मिनट में उसका पूरा नेचर बदल गया ऐसा हो जाता है दैट इज व्हाट द सल्फर इज बिकॉज दे आर वेरी चार्मिंग एंड लवेबल व्हेन दे ईट द फूड एंड देयर सोरा इज फुलफिल्ड दैट इज द सल्फर क्रिएटिव चाइल्ड सो व्हाट इज द क्रिएटिव दे लव टू प्रे विद द स्क्रू ड्राइवर्स ओपनिंग इज टॉयज इलेक्ट्रिक एप्लीकेशंस एंजिन एटसेट्रा आउट ऑफ क्यूरियोसिटी एंड देन ही कैन नॉट फीड इट एवरीथिंग you know, this is sulfur. Kholna aata hai. Feed karna ne aayega. Phir ho feed karega na, to kuch naya bana aayega. Sir, mene hai na, helicopter mein se car bana aayega. We and me may say, how can you helicopter mein se car bana aayega? And that is what they are creative kind of. Because they cannot make it. So this is something different. His best pastime is playing a storeroom in a house and making new things out of the old waste material. So this is what they they are making craft out of everything. Mother Ake bole ki sir, isko kuch bhi de do, kuch na kuch banai leta hai. Kya pata hai, usko usko kya maja a raha hai. I used to have my cousin, cousin brother's son. Uh, whenever he was very small, so he uh, never used to play with any of the toys he came to. He always used to play with the screwdriver. And always he used to open the screw. So everywhere he opens. <laughs> you know, you have a uh, three idiot movie. Mm -hmm. You know, Rancho. So Rancho is going to everywhere, inquisiting and opening up and three, three door is open and fall down. So this is what sulfur is. This is the just state of sulfur. Okay, so that is a creative kind of personality. Again, Rancho can be creative sulfur because he had made everything out of the so oh, uh, the first thing what he had uh, experienced in the three years is whenever the seniors is harassing them so he went into the room and the senior says that uh, come out otherwise I will be on your door of them and what he made he made a uh, spoon and then the wire and then put and then the so this is what the creativity of the idea abundance of the mind this can be a sulfur okay
but it can be a different variant also. It is a uh, revengeful kind of personality. So this is a different variant, but we have to just remember certain by visualizing. So this is sulfur. So makes model of the train, aeroplane, rocket, space, out of their theorizer and creative one. Most of time whenever uh, you ask a child is uh, playing with blocks, a small blocks, and uh, the mother says that, uh, sir, jo diya hai na, jo humko, jo blocks banane ke saath, there are the parameters, one of the uh, manuals, and manuals have some uh, models. So, mother will say that model to kabhi nahi banane ka, kuch naya hi banana. And that is what the sulfur is. No, this is very creative. We have a serious sulfur. Mm -hmm. Right now we have a cheerful, irritables, extroverted, creative, and now the serious one. They are more sober, intelligent, and restlessness. This goes into psychotic list state. They are tall, thin, sharp, <coughs> and here comes the embarrassment is there. Shyness and embarrassment. Very well dressed, though a bit causal error such as wrong button of the shirt not tucked in the pen. So this is what first or second button is open or sometimes it is something different. Okay. They are not worried about it. There, even you can see that the very executive person having the different buttons. Every button is uh, every button is white and one button is black. Again it is sulfur. He is not bothered about it at all. So this is sulfur. Have very few close friends, loner. So these are the like an atrium state. Loner, read only books because they want to have uh, uh, knowledge. So they love nature's gardening, surfing on the net, and citing up scientific updates and the knowledge. So these are the knowledge getter person. These are the symptoms. When upset, want to be alone and do not like to console. It's like natural mood. So whenever find you like a natural mood personality, this can be also a sulfur. You know, sulfur can be sit, uh, confirmed by the sitting posture. So, sir always says, when sulfur comes to your clinic, he used to sit like this, in the chair, like this. So, this is something that like, very haughtiness and there is a dragginess and there shows that I am something, a bostiness, and this is what something they are, the sitting posture. And their prompt reply, always extroverted, uh, shunning shyness, so there is no shyness. You know. There is embarrassment, but there is no shyness. So easy, but there is a messy hair, easy going, openly disagree with the parents, and mostly they are correct. Confidence, forget and forgive, no grudge, no grief. Look directly at the doctor. So this is very important. No grudge and no grief. So whenever there is a grief, <coughs> we have an atrum. Whenever there is a gr grudge, we have ammoniums. You know, no grudge, no grief. This is sulfur. No Very intelligent, we have a serious one, we have a different one, now we have an intelligent one. So we always know we are very swa swa sharp and quick to explore everything, perceive and collect and apply this knowledge. So they are collectors, collect everything out of it. Okay, some are the knowledge collectors, some are different kind of collectors. So we have to understand what is the collecting he is. <laughs> Uh, very bright, intelligent, open, so can easily communicate with the other, become group leader. So most of time you can find the sulfur can be a group leader. You know, they are the creators. IQ is very high, get good marks without much hard work, though he is more keen to play. You know, very important. Ma ke bolegi. Sir, eche to dima bhot achcha hai. Pada hai nahi karta. Marks achche laata hai. And that is what very important. Sulfur is a creation. So sulfur always loves the teacher. Teacher loves the sulfur. Teacher loves Ophidia also. Okay. And sulfur always make them very happy teachers. So they they uh, flatter with the teachers also. And the same way the teacher gives marks to the sulfur also. So this is what their IQ is very important. You know. Not intelligent at his age. Love to play challenging games like uh, brainy games. You know, we have blocks, we have brainy games, we have intelligent things to apply. Common sense game. You know, these are the games they love to play. Make friends, elder. See, uh, right now we have seen a lot of children come to us with the uh, addiction of the playing games. 
So Sulphur never used to play like PUBG and everything because he don't like the fighting and everything. So Mercury, Jupiter Green and likes the fighting and everything. Sulphur used to have knowledge and intellect. So he used to play Sudoku. Calculation, Sudoku, some brainy games which their mind is using. Always so many questions to ask from everyone around. Always ask how and why and why and why and why and why and why. Always why, why, why. And mother says, it na saval pushta hai ye dusra Paresh Rawal hai. Are you knowing the Paresh Rawal? The movie, I don't remember the name of the movie. Which one? Judai. Judai, yes. The Judai. In the Judai, Paresh Rawal has the question mark on the face. Forehead. And that is what we used to ask a lot of questions. With, if the person is asking a lot of questions without wasting the uh, without waiting the answer of that, this is something called as embragation. Rapid questioning. Rapid fire questions are there. That is embragation. Whereas sulfur want to ask out of inquisitiveness. Kelkaria, ask question many. Kelkaria also every inquisitive. So he also used to ask the questions. Same with the sulfur. Again, there is a hunger, aggravates, and there is a hunger for knowledge also because the IQ is the food for the knowledge. So most of the time the knowledge, lot of hunger for the knowledge. Very independent child, they are independent since infancy, play with the fingers, toys, by themselves, not making first to be attendant or carried, smiling when anybody looks at him. So always. This child goes to anybody. This infant goes to anyone. They can come in the contact with, they can go with anyone. Like fluoric acid, fluoric acid go with the anybody. But sulfur has certain boundary, but fluoric acid no boundary. He forget the parents. You know, animated with the stranger and forget the loved ones and parents. This is the fluoric acid. Whereas in a sulfur, they want to become independent. That's why they started mingling with us. They never make a fuss of anything. From very small as they become very independent, want to do things in his own way and own term like a bathing and dressing. So these are the things they are very independent. Toddler wants to wipe their nose themselves though they are. This is you know, again. They have consensus to clean something, but this is dirtiness. And that is what the sulfur is. You know, very important. The small observation can make your prescription very easy. They don't want to feed them and make a mess of the food, hands and the face. So most of the time, mother says, If you eat food, you can eat it, you can eat it, you can eat it. It's a lot of food. If you eat food, it's a lot of food. Do their homework, project work themselves, because of very conscientious, diligent kind of personality. During the day, if he gets bored, go to waiting room to play with the blocks and, he, uh, and has order secret to tell his own opinion. Maja nahi hai sir. Directly, the patient says, Maja nahi hai sir. And they go out, <laughs> they enjoy. <laughs> These are the something. Again, a messy child, so his independence will do with the work and preoccupation in the new idea, creativity, love for the knowledge, free will, indifference to what other things of him make them messy and dirty. So again the dirtiness, what I have. Again, the child came to you with the uh, collar putting into nose. Like this. This is something called as calendula. This is a simple observation. Okay? The uh, sulfur has a dirtiness, so he used to wipe his nose with the leaves. And his leaves is very dirty. Very executive, a uh, high uh, quality person comes to you with the dirty clothing. Directly think of. You know, very executive person, but the hair is messy. Think of sulfur. I had a case of CA, and he always comes to with the very messy hair. And by just observation, I don't even think of any remedy. By just observation, he is my friend and uh, a very extroverted. So I just uh, give him sulfur, and he will get rid of that. When body start collecting the waste in a critical or serious cases, one must remember body as a defense. Very important, Dr. Dharma has mentioned that. Like creatinine, uric acid, toxins, acetones, this is a sulfur state. 
exactly so when the body is not wanting to throw out the dirt and the dirt collecting inside it to the body and that make the persons very dull and indolent you can directly think of sulfur like creatine in is high uric acid is high these are the dirt is collecting the person even dirt is not allowed to be passed on these are the messengers of the sulfur at the mental level very good dr darvish thank you for reminding me get scolded for all this mess but one feels guilty for stopping this amiable and innocent child after understanding his psychology so this is something different collector i always says whatever mine is mine your is negotiable mera mera hai tera bhi mera hai <laughs> that is what the self is kind of. you know collector so they love to collect the toys books pens i used to have a lot of book in my uh, cabinet so i must be a sniffer of uh, knowledge travelers okay so they love to collect the books pens stationery pebbles and very possessions about their uh, these things don't like to share it with itself it's a very self centered selfish kind of personality and they don't want to share it with hungry greedy child collect candies pastries without bothering to share with other eat up so these are very important also they are day dreamer want to remain in the bed reading books listening uh, to music or watching fictions and other movie so is own world of dreams giving impression of the dull lazy absent minded child so most of the time the sulfur child is dull indolent kind of dear you know they ignore their homework test any household work but anything of his own interest brings spark of energy agar kuch janna hai kuch karna hai to wapis energy aa jayega kar bola kuch ye karna hai to sulfur ka sar ne aisa likha hai ki sulfur hai na bahut badi energy se kuch shuru karta hai Undertaking things with the lot of energy, or us complete nahi karta. And that is what they are like. They started doing writing books, and the books is half written. Undertake like, many things. Also. They started many things. Undertake many things. Persist in nothing. This is the rubric which we as far as mentioned. But sulfur is like this. Okay. My experience I am sharing with you. I started writing one books, and it left in between. <laughs> maybe i will complete in the future but still this is what uh, my self my personality is okay that is why i have chosen the best topic to be taught in the marathon series and this was the last of this marathon that's why i have chosen the best remedy sulfur because i used to have treated with many times of sulfur dr darvesh says it's have given me a dose of sulfur to me am i right sir so this was a lazy person dull again so we have confirmatory symptoms now we end up with the uh, few uh, highlight that they are very extroverted they are uh, communicative expansive they are intelligent they are either independent creative curious messy leader hyperactive or lazy self centered and at the physical level we always find redness of the eyes redness of the ears redness of the lips pale face become red on everything excitement laugh or cry so these are the things of confirmatory symptoms of sulfur now we go to the different different sulfur so we have understood this is sulfur now we have to understand what is different sulfur is so what is natrum sulf you know we always always we have uh, learned this remedy in our session also but this is what natrum sulf so what is natrum sulf it's a fiery sulfur very angry sulfur angry natrum fiery natrum the natrum is always in two water but this is the fiery so it is angry sensitive but close more irritable than the other natrums strong sense of the duty towards the family and the responsibility very important aspect of natrum sulf so least sensitive and most close so mostly the na all natrums are close introverted doesn't like to talk mingle with anybody so this is also sulfur with introvertedness close a remedy prone to injury to head very important aspect of sadness and suicidal dispositions when goes into feelings and ailment from head injury these are the very important aspect of natrum sulf 
they are systemic worker child working properly in the school with the competition successful businessman doing everything in a proper manner you know when natural component add into self work it become very very proper first years in planning they are not impulsive not spontaneous see the both side of the aspect so they are very very practical kind of personality natural is okay they lack the emotional sensitivity because they are practical they have only the things that is sense of strong beauty they are most uh, they are more like a business music makes them sad you know sulfur like the music especially uh, classical music bajans and everything but when this personality hear the music they have a sadness so we always have music aggravates or sadness that is a natural because natural goes into state of brooding and emotions by the listening the music and they go into state when they got hurt so most of time natural heard the music of a sad variant always you know love said no song love said song they are good planner and you know, hanging themselves with the plan serious talking talk of others aggravates they do not make social contacts out of natural easily uh, do not make social contact easily if they make it it would be a material way for example with the woman it is a high sexual desire not possessiveness if they lose her with they will go into this is so this is what they have the material aspect of understanding because natural has a feeling that if i connect i might be hurt so that is what they don't want to and most of time natural self natural self has a problem with the partner you know when you read the jan sholter jan sholter has mentioned that when the sulfur component is there there is a problem with the partner always and partner can be a businessman partner can be a spouse or partner can be anything okay so then most of time this is what they are hurt be at the suffering without complaining cheerful try to try to so there is a sayam sayam they they maintain the sayam <coughs> mark suicidal disposition suicidal disposition restrain himself because of duties of his himself so he want to commit suicide but due to that duties and strong responsibility he feels i don't want to commit it because i need to fulfill that and when you think like this you can be think like oram also but oram never give chance to understand because oram never share their feelings of suicide with anybody they have a tremendous grief and they can do suicide and destroy themselves whereas natural self can explain you that i have a strong sense of duty i have a thoughts i need to commit but i can't and that is what you have to differentiate from the oral and natural self so passionate because of the self forming are more obsessive mania alternative depressions hatred and revenge for most of time all natural had the three hatred and revenge for indifferent to our family loved ones because they hurt them so when you are strong sense of responsibility toward family and finally land up with the indifferent to family you can directly think of natural appearance most of time the natural self is always a psychotic remedy so there is a condylometas goose flesh all natural self broader psychotic okay serious people emaciation full of thick board uh, thick <coughs> board broad like and ours are to being spoken and raw surfaces the all the skin are raw physically there is a photophobia aggravation by the sunlight okay aggravation by the dampness most of times the natural self is the anti psychotic remedy hydrogenated constitutions aggravation by the dampness so asthma mostly damp humid asthma natural self there is a something written in the bori that constitutional effect of asthma in children whenever i have i have lot of children prescribe natrum sal uh, those who suffer from the repeated cases of bronchitis and asthmatic attacks and natrum sal will bring them to the normal state and that is what a constitutional effect of natrum sal headache associated with the bilious trouble why because of there is a liver is the affection of the natrum sal so due to that bilious affection there is a headache there is a head symptoms which always remember in our uh, Cool, uh, college days always ask natrum self head injury right in the paper and that is what we always write so head injury goes into lot of complain of cns remote head injury 20 saal pehle sar pe laga tha aaj bhi problem chal that is what natrum self is the remedy hip joint disease tendency to fall on the head most of time a self for child natrum self child fall on the head that is 
we have a baryta salt so what is the difference of baryta salt so baryta salt is a hot thirsty extroverted baryta but there is a real loss of desire more than she needs fear conversation so sulfur always have conversation but when the person is having a fear of conversation it is a due to the immediate vascularness of the baryta when baryta component air is a fear conversation of exertion physical again always sulfur has physical exertion again mental exertion don't exert it but physical exertion again always flabby feelings flabby feelings hard part in relaxation of the muscles and imbecility so imbecility is not a state of idiocy it is before that idiocy it's there this sound something so when can that be the baryta self so the tall baryta with a sulfur like personality baryta is always chubby round and short and dwarf but this is a tall type of personality so when you think tall baryta with the sulfur quality left sided baryta personality all baryta are right sided baryta self can be left sided ladies who buy too many things when they go to the market there are some ladies who want who, who out of the insecurity as well as the brainlessness will buy 5 kg of vegetable when only 1 kg is required so this is called as indiscretion or misplacement of the baryta she will buy everything more than the required quantity the food whatever is is perishable item like the fruits or seed meats will be purchased in so much quantity that it will be kept in the refrigerator for the days and then thrown away as they become stale for her there is no definite approximation for that does not mind buying and throwing rather than falling short and this being laughed at so this is one that sensitivity risk being laughed at so people who are very interested in the old historic places art creativity like sulfur but the baryta element does not allow them to take interest in knowing the historic fact nor does the baryta element allow her to create or copy any of this art this means there is only a superficial interest in the historic art architect and art and there is no depth in the interest this is baryta self what is the general of baryta self baryta self can be like pulsatilla close and room close room agrarian like arsenic midnight agrarian like carcinogen desire chocolate and like sulfur they are interested in art and architecture but no aptitude so this is a baryta we have another remedy that is magnesium salt so how can we have already run this magnesium baryta natrum all group but this is what i have just mentioned few highlights so people with no friends and no enemies as the magnesium dos bhi nahi hai dushman bhi nahi hai i am the content i want and that is what the magnesium salt so these are the magnesium personality tolerance of tolerance is the magnesium so there is always you find that they have tolerated anything out of it they never express because they have the feeling of repression no expression there is no suppression natrum has a suppression but one day they come out but magnesium never express never came out repression so typical answer i have a pain but i can tolerate it i am contented with himself as like costitum sicuta ladum maxal and many in the spider they are contented with themselves magnesians are slow due to lethargy of the mind they are inert in nature so we whenever we find a scientific bent of mind like a sulfur but the very very patient and contented kind of that you can think of magnesian sulfur so whenever you find these kind of things scientific bent of mind intellectual person patient and contented now what is the patient and contented at the physical level whenever person goes into what sir has given us idea about that whenever the person goes into black hole or near death experience or going towards the death in that state they go into the coma so coma is a patient and contented state of life you know never complain nothing is there so whenever the person goes into near death or going towards black hole in a comatic state you can think of magnesium salt are you getting having a bent of scientific mind in their life so this is something that i need to share with you 
mild and sympathetic kind of so most of magnesians are a very very mild very loving loving they want to be loved and but they are feeling that i cannot be loved i have been forsaken okay forsaken by the loved one parents family wife spouse and everyone so we have a magnesium relations are more important with whenever you think of any minerals remedy from this row the relations is the only criteria so relations are more important whenever the sulfur adding to that is extrovertedness what is the need of the magnesium they wants harmony in their state of life they wants to manage everything they want to balance everything because they love harmony and that is what whenever there is a problem with the harmony they suffer from the central midline disorders so those who are having a problem with the bilateral and they want peace and harmony they suffer from the midline disorder no wants and contented with himself and does not want quarrel they are very very sensitive to quarrel they don't want to quarrel with anybody again physically the sulfur component palms are hot and to touch another remedy sulfuric acid so sulfuric acid whenever you find a uh, sulfur with the chili with the hurriedness fastness you can think of sulfuric acid they are hurry thirsty or in walking talking eating occupations and they are chili sulfur so when you find hurry worry and chili is the sulfuric acid so again what was the indication they love as all acid loves sour fruits because acid have absorption and their energy comes out of the atp and atp is the for, uh, uh, what we got as we get from the uh, vitamin c food a savory food and that's why all acid loves savory foods or juices so this is what desire for the fruit sour drinks like the orange and lemonades chili sulfur thirstless though it does not mind fruits and juices symptom changes their positions like pulsatilla so always like pulsatilla so whenever you find pulsatilla extroverted kind of personality chilly st hurry ability and frustration yes frustrations so this is again very important aspect of the person who suffer from the injury and having a acidosis you can think of sulfuric acid so they are very primary excrementers sluggy active hurry see sulfur is sluggy while sulfuric acid is very hurry but you know hurry in mind not in the body very important you know <coughs> we have learned acids in acids we have learned that phosphoric acid has a physical weakness uh, mental weakness picric acid has a physical weakness we have different different weakness same way sulfuric acid hurry in mind but sluggish in the body so hurry impatient in everything spotty pain and changing places whenever spotty pain we have think of oxalic acid we have think of kali bicromicum we have think of ignatia again you have to think of sulfuric acid and that is changing pain okay so this is something historical kind last but not least of this today's sulfur variant sulfur iodide so whenever sulfur combine with the iodine the hotness increase whenever sulfur combine with the iodine sensitivity has increased because iodine is more sensitive you know so hot patient again sulfur combine with the iodine the leanness increase so lean thin sulfur can be obese round chubby in a psychotic leanness again the leanness but there is no stupid uh, sulfur is like stupid but this is something else different so not much stoop like sulfur and lean thin and the hot these are the sulfur ion there is a long neck you know long neck we have long neck in natural mu so when there is a long neck they are very sensitive same way the iodine is the sensitive so what are the different point that is not found in the sulfur iodide is not like sulfur is they are lean they are thin they are fast sulfur can be very indolent and lazy hurried in activity either in the mental as well as physical whereas in sulfuric acid mind is hurried body is not this is and no stoop shoulder these are the lacking of sulfur 
what are the element added is iodum they are very sensitive to hurt very very sensitive to hurt frightful thing makes them sensitize so horrible thing affect them so they are very anxious and frightful and iodum component make them very very restless so these are the sulfur iodide so due to iodum there are lot of timidity and there is a constant fear that something will happen and they are frightened easily but patient will not show that he is frightened why sulfur aa gaya isme papis main darta nahi hai andar se bhale darta hai because the ego will prevent them from showing them that he is frightened so this is sulfur another aspect that patient hates household activity very important aspect of understanding of sulfur is they like to go outside they like to make creative work they like beauty parlor they like tattooing they like outside work but not household core and we think of shankris but this is a sulfur you know they will never like to do work in the kitchen or do daily household core but they love to do some artistic work sir beauty parlor mein ek baar aao to sahi आपको मैं कहां से कहां बना देता हूं या कहां से कहां बना देती हूं दैट इज व्हाट दे आर दे आर आर्टिस्टिक यू नो क्रिएटिव सो दे लव दिस काइंड ऑफ जॉब आउटसाइड द होम बट दे नेवर हैव अ इंटरेस्ट इन द हाउस होल्ड कोर्स सो दिस इज समथिंग फ्रॉम द सेंट्रीज एंड सल्फर आयोड दे लाइक अगेन सल्फर आयोड दे लव स्पीकर्स लेमिनेट्स रिफ्रेशिंग थिंग्स एंड स्टिमुलेटिंग थिंग्स sulfur iodide looks very very inquisitive like sulfur big eyes because eyes so sensitivity so big eyes extra aridity aridness of the iodum love fruits iodum interested more in mechanics of the toys and gadgets sulfur they hate domestic duty sulfur iodide even in children whatever they are made to play with they will not eat will not do it rather go for the gadgets so most of that they like they love gadgets so big thank you all of you for the wonderful series we have uh, eight part completed and i am so so happy that we have completed this wonderful 21 marathon material medical series with all of you and sharing the wonderful knowledge with all of you we have today a big celebrations of the completions and thank you all for the wonderful journey with us we will continue this journey in a different mode in a coming days so stay tuned online learners and i am happy to share with you all my knowledge and my uh, team knowledge with all of you again and again in the future thank you all thank you all from bottom of my heart thank you all my team that almighty has chosen me to share this uh, knowledge with all of you thank you my beloved parents that parents has made me to be a doctor thank you my uh, our master dr samuel haneman who had given us a path to do a some divinity work those who are suffering to us thank you our beloved sir vijaykar sir they have shown us the scientific path to all of us thank you my inspirations dr jitesh soshalya dr suketu shastri my mentor thank you all my team sha member that they have created this wonderful uh, event and this wonderful magical marathon series with all of you and thank you all learners who have shared their views with all of us and their comments are most welcome thank you thank you thank you there is a big thank you to all of you